What if I told you that you can carry an entire zombie apocalypse right in your pocket? Face screaming in fear, yes. Left 4 Dead 2 is now running on Android, and here's the crazy part. This is the light version, but it's the complete game. Nothing ripped, nothing missing, just optimized to run buttery smooth. And the best part? This works on literally any device, from low-end phones to Snapdragon 8 Elite Beasts. Molly, MediaTek, doesn't matter at all. It's for everyone. So guys, let's jump right in and start the survival. Alright guys, first of all you need to install the GameHub app on your phone. Once installed, just log in using your Google account. After that, you'll land on the home screen. Here, you need to add your game. Head over to the My tab, then tap on Add PC Game. After that, add your game and head straight into the settings. And just like that, your game is added and ready to go. After that, the emulator will automatically start downloading the required drivers based on your device in the game. You don't need to do anything here, GameHub takes care of it all on its own. Just sit back and let it set everything up for you. Now, here's the important part. If your device is high-end, set the resolution to 1920 by 1080. Or, if your device is low-end, simply go with 960 by 544. Don't touch the other settings below, just leave them as they are. And don't worry, the game is so well optimized that it will run smoothly on almost any phone, whether it's a base basic low-end device or a Snapdragon 8 Elite flagship, even with high resolution. Alright guys, once that's done, head over to compatibility mode and pick the latest Proton 10 version. For now, leave the translation params at default, we don't want to break anything on the first run. Next up, jump into GPU driver. Here's the deal, if you've got a Snapdragon CPU, go with the latest turnip driver. If it's MediaTek, Mali, or even Snapdragon 8 Elite, basically any unknown CPU, just set it to system. Easy. Now for DXVK settings, select the latest DXVK 2.7.1.1 async. Quick tip for Mali users, if your device has a Mali GPU, make sure to select 1.10.3 Mali underscore fix here. This will optimize the game perfectly for your device and keep things running super smooth. That's the one that gives smooth performance. And that's it, don't touch anything else. Hit run and let the game fire up for the first time. Once the game fully launches, check if it's running properly. Don't worry if the FPS feels a bit slow at first, that's totally normal. We've got a trick to boost FPS and make it super smooth. Here's what you do, exit the game, head back into settings, go to compatibility mode, and under translation params, select extreme mode. Turn on the option there, and you're done. And that's it, guys, congratulations. Your game is now fully ready to play on Android. Grab your phone, jump in, and enjoy full zombie survival action. Now, a quick heads up. When the shaders are compiling, the FPS might drop a bit, don't panic, that's totally normal. Once the compilation is done, the game runs buttery smooth, no lag, no stutter, pure chaos. Go inside the game and tweak the resolution based on how smooth or crisp you want it. Low-end phone or flagship beast, it doesn't matter, the game runs like a dream. What the hell? You shot the pilot. Well, he wasn't doing a very good job once he became a zombie, now was he? That's true. If I had to pick a low point in the flight, it was probably when he started flying the chopper and attacked us. Anyone know where we are? 